Well, hello everybody. I'm in my front yard with light pollution to look at Jupiter. According to uh, this free app called Stellarium, uh, Jupiter is that bright dot right there. See, Jupiter. So it's that bright dot there. And right now you can't really see the other stars because of the light pollution. It's happening and here is the Sigma 150 on a Sony and it's that native LEDs I put an adapter on it anyway uh, here's what it sees there but uh, when I zoom it in it actually see the four moons too so let me take a picture of it this is just running video so I'm gonna show this video too Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> so let me put this back in camera mode. Let me take a quick picture. There's the picture right here. See, there's the moon. Uh, come on. So this is the moon. And this is the moon from uh, just our Jupiter's moons it's hard to see but I'll, I'll put it in the I'll, I'll put it in the video so it's much bigger <laughs> it's hard to do it in the camera there's another moon over there another moon over here and the middle one is Jupiter Let's see if you can see the viewfinder You find her. <laughs> Does it work? So I'll put it in the video, this picture, and uh, so you can see the moon better. So I don't have a telescope, so I'm just using this one. I see some pictures where uh, they, they, they did a, uh, they have better, uh, what you call that, darker area with no light pollution, and you can actually see the the Jupiter the clouds of Jupiter but since I'm in the city with like security light there sec lights everywhere too much light pollution in my area so that's the best I could do with this setup but I'm pretty sure if it was darker I probably would be able to see the cloud there but hey I, I, I'll just take whatever I can get you know I don't have a telescope so at least you can see there's Jupiter with your naked eye. So tomorrow too, uh, right now it's a, uh, this only happened, this happened like, like 59 years ago, so. Yeah, it's really close, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. So at least we could see it with our naked eye. So tomorrow you can still see it. I think for the next few weeks you can see Jupiter, but this is the, today's the closest. You can see it, so this one is much brighter today. But uh, too bad I have too much light, light pollution in my area, so can't really see. Right, so that's how you uh, or this is a Jupiter up there in the sky, and in, and the way to find it is get a download an app. It's called this one is called Stellarium. It's a free app. There's a paid version too, but I don't really need it and you can find planets if you just let's see if we can find another planet here this is upside down no, I put it upside down duh so, hey wake up so this is the app I'm using this app it's free right and you just go come on you type the you search for the planet you want so like Saturn look for a look for Saturn put after door so look for Saturn Saturn and 
look at in the sky and Saturn Uranus is like below it but it's still not visible to me that's Jupiter and Saturn should be right let's look for Saturn so the Jupiter is over there we got the light turned off it's Jupiter that little dot and on the right it should be Saturn it says it says Saturn right there so I don't know if my camera is seeing it or not but Saturn just right there I can see it with my naked eye but uh, I don't know why it's saying it's, you can see it my camera can see it but Saturn is over there it's only one bright star that's Saturn the brightest one is Jupiter and that's the airplane <laughs> alright so that's it uh, that's how you find Jupiter or planets just using a free app called Stellarium and I'm using the and that's the picture that comes out from the from my uh, camera with a 150 to 600 millimeter lens and crop sensor and that's the picture it takes because uh, I got just too, got too much light pollution like I, I've been saying all, all night long alright that's it uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe and hope to see you next time alright goodbye thank you